Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, it, you can go. My name Hi. is Trevor Maxwell. Uh, I am Carl Bloomberg. And we are so happy to be here today. We're so happy. Ever since a young age, we we've been we've been interested in in fighting crime. It's true. I would say. Um, we we were always on the lookout. Um, sort of like Batman. I, that, That's the best that is way exactly to describe it. it. Yes, and, and he's, he's Robin. Robin. Um. Well, uh, so, so, so I, I guess, so recently we were appointed to the Neighborhood Crime Watch. Yeah. And we... Neighborhood Watch. The Watch. Yeah, it's, it, <laughs> it's a big deal. It's a big deal, guys. I'm really excited about it. Um. It's... <laughs> they give us a badge. It's, it's a big, it's a big moment. We make the badge, but... I almost feel like my life, like... Up until now has been like leading to this. I know, like, I know. The crime watch is like up like, here with like some and, of the coolest things. I know. We gotta like we gotta print our own certificate. <sighs> yeah. But it's it's like official, but like we made it. Top shirt. What's this? What? You got me a a, a children's. The ceiling one that had I... the. The only one they had, really? Because, 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 because you get this? What is this? What is this, huh? Huh? What is this? I thought it would... It'll fit. Oh, really? Will it fit? Will it? Will it? Just give it a shot, you know? I got you these. Oh, wow. Perfect. It'll look great with my tank top. I think you look like a badass cop. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Let me just fix your buttons. So a little bit about us. Yes. Um, so like I said, Trevor Maxwell. Uh, I come from a big family. You know, I'm, I'm very physical. I'm very, you know, always on. Spunky. Spunky, uh, that's, great, that's great adjective. Yeah. Um, I'm always ready to go. I'm ready to f spread it, you know? Um, um, what else? Um, no love in my life right now. Um, this is the only partner I need. Partner in crime. Yes. We're very happy together. We're very happy together. Would I like a wife someday? It's a great question. I think he's got me, so he's fine. I think he's fine with just me. I think, I think he's fine with that. But someday, you know, I, I'm really like, you know, but like, that's down the line. That's down, that's far that, away. That's far down far the line. line. You're like, I'm married to crime right now. And it's not a happy marriage. Okay. But it's, it's one that I have to stay in for the kids. And the kids are you. So, um, I actually grew up in a, in a really small town, um, in Kansas, uh, with my, with my two parents, uh, Bill and Mary, um, yeah, we, we grew up on a little farm, you know, we, we kind of did a little farming here and there, sold little crops, you know, I kind of learned the way of the land, you know. Um, and then I met Trevor, and everything changed. Um, I, I met him, and I immediately moved within a two-block vicinity of his household. Um, and then just five years later, we moved in together. And yeah, it's been really fun having a roommate. Yeah, uh, I've, I've very much enjoyed it. It's a little uh, foxy when I have the ladies over, because he gets a little territorial. But uh, hey, we make it work. Why are we here, you might ask? One would ask that. One. Um, I, I think I think we should I think we should start off by talking about how we met. Um, when was it? Was it? Oh, it was. <gasps> It was in grade school, wasn't it? It was. It happened uh, happened a while ago. Um, we were just kind of sitting on the playground, and these two girls come up, and they said, these two boys are being mean to us. Help us out. So uh, we were kind of skeptical. We didn't mm -hmm. know who these guys were, and we didn't know where this was going to go. So uh, we say, sure, we'll help you out. So she brings us, these girls bring us to these guys, and they're, they're older than us. They're, uh, 
How old were they? They were in the fifth grade and we were in kindergarten. Yeah, so it was it was a big difference. It was yeah. It was and they were and they were big and uh, they took the crayons. I don't know, but I think was it you? Car Did you throw the first punch? Someone threw the first punch. We don't want to name names, but it so it happened. It and there was a fight, and we won. We broke their noses. We broke... You broke your nose. There was a nose... I, I, I feel like one of them broke their nose, though. I, I think that's... That, that might have happened, but I'm, I remember you falling and breaking your nose. But that, that might... That could have been. Um, so these girls were very thankful. Can we talk about something else, please? Can we talk about something yeah. else? Yeah. I'm... Um, I think, I think, I think, I think we're just, this is just... This uh, moment inspired us to fight crime. We wanted, we wanted to stand up for the little guy. And that's the, that's when we realized it. Because okay. I just don't think it's fair that people who are, who are smaller get picked on. I, I don't think that's fair. I know, I know. People who are, who are just different get picked on. Like why is, I don't understand, why does that happen? So, uh... Carl and I were sitting here when the two girls asked us to defend them. And this is where we made the life-changing decision to help people. Over here. On this blue pole. That's where Carl broke his nose. Uh, allegedly, okay, can we, can we just not talk about this, please? Can we please not? I don't know why you're doing this to me right now. So right here, that is from his nose. You, can you Could have been please there. not do that? Can you please not do this? So uh, here at the old stomping grounds, we like to uh, we like to always practice being on edge. You know, in case we do become cops, we like to uh, practice one of us be the thief and one of us be the cop. And you know, we practice the tackle, we practice in the arrest. So uh, Carl today is going to be the thief, and I will be the police officer. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Hmm, what to do today? I'm thinking about committing an act of treason. Hey! That's a violation! If I had handcuffs, this would be so real. Stand the ground! Oh. <laughs> Recently, we've been doing some investigating. You know, it's... It's a, it's a scary world out there. Not everyone can do it. Not everyone can handle it. The business isn't for everyone. That's exactly right. And recently we've been, we've been looking at a woman, a specific woman named Jaylene Drabeck. Um, she is, she's- I don't trust I, her. I don't trust now, her. Now, Trevor, sorry. She, she sparked our interest a couple weeks ago when a lot of people were coming and going from her house. Um, some weird smells, some aromas were coming from her house. We had no idea. Drug smells. We the smell of drugs. It's a drug ring. If there's a drug ring in that house, so we're going to we're going to go check it out. Uh, we we honestly, I think this is a very big case for us, and I think that it can do a. It's a big break. It, okay, the police department's going to see this, and they're just going to know, and then we're going to be hired. I, you think that? You think you think they would just like. I don't want to get our hopes up, I mean, but I really think this is it. I Honestly, I feel like they could give us detective right there. We are uh, right outside the house of uh, our suspect. Her name? Jaylene. 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 I don't trust that name. She's dirty. And I don't mean in a good way. Take a look. Take a look at her. She is currently... She's currently buying the drugs? She is emailing her drug friend. She's selling Look at her the drugs. That. Look at that. She's there are drugs in that apple. Okay, it's time to go. It's time to go. Let's go. Oh, a dog? <laughs> Unbelievable. Drug dog. Hey! 
Ding dong, who's there? The law. All right, yeah, we're coming in. On the ground. Excuse me, man, let's walk. Let's walk over here. Why don't we? Um, why don't we? Let's walk. Wait, wait, wait. Sit down, sit down. I, I think you please, please, just sit down. Just sit down. Just sit down. Oh, a warrant? A warrant? Yeah, we're above the law. That's funny. <laughs> you are? You're wearing a shirt that says cop. You are the law. How is That's that? That's right. You're damn right. What's this? Pills? Answer the questions we ask around here. My dog's allergies. Oh, and look at this. A postcard. Who, from your drug friends? Is that who it's from? Is that who it's oh. from? It's who turned around. Email? It's from my who eye doctor. in here? What is... Dear Grandma, hey. I'm sorry for your loss. Excuse me? Unbelievable. Oh, I'm sorry. Unbelievable. This is... I'm sorry about that. Baloney, I don't buy it. I don't what buy is it. This I'm not buying any of this. You... Why am I still being filmed? You come into my home... Hey, no, 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 no. What are you looking for? Hey, I'll ask you questions. Is this uh, a fake baton? Trevor? It's made of... Trevor, I think you need to see something. <sighs> you know... I'm just trying um, to. Let me just I don't know if my this shit. is. Uh, don't. I don't know if she's who we think she is. It can't be possible. Who do you think I am? What are you looking for? You are. Jaylene, the suspected drug dealer. Yeah, we know all. Do we you know. see this it's house? Confirmed. Do you think I'm a drug dealer? These are my dog's allergy pills. These are my allergy pills. Then what are you? What do you do? I'm an author. I'm trying to write a children's book. Trevor, I think you made a big mistake. Well, um, maybe you should be more careful then. Because, obviously, uh, this place isn't up to par with the standards of the law. Are there, so are there codes? I think, I, think, I, think, I, think, I think you should be lucky that we're just giving you a little warning. Um, but better watch yourself, Jaylene, because we know the drug smells that you... Release the, the drug smell? The drug okay, smell. Okay, I'm gonna call the real cops. Give me a second. Give me a second. Um, that's really not necessary. That's really not necessary. All right. What are your names again? Wait. Get out of my house. Hey. That's the driver's side. I'm the driver. Go, 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 go. go, go, go. Safety first. I think I'm pretty well. Yeah. It was a good, uh, classic Carl and Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> little shenanigans, huh? A little shenanigans. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Just maybe. It'll happen again. Alright, can you say some words for me? They call me the Glaze. Why do they do that? Like a donut. Why, why, why is that? Because I'm like a donut. I'm soft and I'm chewy. Okay. But <laughs> Thank you. My name is Trevor Maxwell. And I am... <laughs> he gets shot. <laughs> Do you really forget your name? Yes! <laughs> Aromas were coming from her house. We had no idea. Drug smells. We the smell of drugs. It's a drug ring. If there's a drug ring in that house, um, we... <laughs> <laughs> you need to stop laughing, Gunner. <laughs> Smells. <laughs> Bunch of smells. We could just, we just smell different. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to I wanna be, be able to look at the camera and it just gets really close. I just go drug smells.